The purpose of this video is to review how the quotation template functionality works in Odoo. And the business use case is typically when you have uh, repeat orders uh, of a decent size, which become cumbersome to continuously have to re-enter, you know, every day, every week, every month, etc. Uh, what you would want to do is use, use Odoo's quotation template feature in order to automate this process. So let's take a look at how this works. If you go to sales and you know an administrator or a sales manager or someone like that would be able to help you set this up, uh, you'd go to configuration and we look at quotation templates. And here we'd create a new one. And what you can do is you can have your own you know, nomenclature or naming mechanisms. Um, I've seen people use a customer name, for instance. So I will use Nicholas Kosinski Inc. And I will build out the template here. So I'll say um, we're going to have plant one. And right, these can be as deep as you want, as many line items as you want. And I'm just going to do four for this example here. So we'll say maybe one of these, five of those, 10 of those and um, 125 of these, or let's just say 10 of these as well. So we'll save it. And now you can, you'll see here, you can edit the uh, expiration date to automatically populate. Uh, if it's a quote here, we can suggest optional products. Then we can define how this particular order would get confirmed. And we can say via a signature payment if we're sending it to a customer um, or it, it doesn't have, these buttons in, you know, aren't gonna have any real consequences um, in any workflow that we're going to do today. So now that that's saved, let's go and let's look at an order. We'll go ahead, we'll create a new sale order, and you'll see I can specify my customer here, and here I can specify one of my quotation templates. For example, I can start to type in the name, and it'll only show me, obviously, templates which match, match this name. Um, I only have one in this instance, uh, which is Nicholas Kaczynski, Inc., of course, so that's all I see. When I select it, it pre-populates all the lines with all the specified quantities here, and then obviously the unit prices and things like that, which would, these would come from the product record unless I had a price list specified. Um, so you can have custom pricing at the customer level as well for each of these products, which I will get into in the next video that I'm going to send uh, over to you guys. So save it, send by email, and of course you can proceed with that workflow as such. When the order gets confirmed, of course, all the delivery orders and everything like that automatically populate up here with all the corresponding quantities defined on that quotation template. So if you're looking to speed up that process, you know, mitigate any, you know, risks associated with human, you know, error and manual data entry, right, just build out the quotation template in a click of a button. It's just a quicker sale, quicker revenues. Um, and of course, a better customer and end user experience inside the system. If you have any additional questions on how that feature works, feel free to let me know and I'll be happy to uh, elaborate further. Thanks so much and have a great day.